Well, I always thought uh, that my wife and I have been health conscious. Uh, we always ate, uh, I think, a lot better than a standard American diet. And uh, I was, got involved in a lot of fitness areas, and so we tried to eat a good diet. Uh, I think probably it changed a little bit when uh, I got involved in these fitness contests and they kept telling me I needed more and more protein. So I started having milk-based protein shakes and beef and, and chicken and fish three times a day and, and all that. And so that probably was a, an extreme over the way we had eaten. But I think overall we ate pretty good, particularly compared to most of our friends and most of the people we were around. I was 64 years old and I entered a fitness contest. It was a national contest and I won in my age group. And I thought I was just super fit. I had 6% body fat. And uh, a few months later, uh, my jaw started hurting and I went to the emergency room and it turned out that I, had, I needed a triple bypass. So they gave me a triple bypass. And uh, when that was over with, of course, they gave me a diet uh, that I needed to stay on, which was uh, up to five ounces of beef a week and other things that <clears throat> it was a little, a little cleaner than what we ate, but not a lot. Not too much different than what I had already eaten that had led me up to having the heart attack. Immediately after that, they started giving me a lot of statins and blood pressure medicine and diuretics and all. And I developed a condition in my right leg and hip. And it was so severe. It was like having a Charlie horse uh, that in my entire leg structure that never quit. It was spasming all the time. And so I went to the cardiologist and they did all these tests and they said, we don't know what's causing this problem. And after a little while, I just finally, I just said, I can't live like this. So I went to a general practitioner that's a close friend and he did extensive tests and says, I can't find anything wrong with you. And so <clears throat> from that, I went home and decided I'm gonna reduce the drugs that I'm on. And I started reading on the internet. And when I did, I ran across uh, a book called Reversing Heart Disease by Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn. And I ordered it and I read it. And uh, in that, he talked about Dr. McDougall as being one of the people that had influenced him. And so I went on Dr. McDougall's website and I read everything, every newsletter he had ever written that's on there, every hot topic that was on there, I read the entire thing. I did not see anything that did not make perfect common sense to me. And even though I had been involved on a little bit different spectrum with all the, I could see that probably most of my conditions came from eating a meat and a heavy uh, dairy diet because I had three whey protein shakes a day and then I had usually a tuna, you know, three small meals a day with tuna and fish and beef. And I just knew I had loaded my system with that, which is what the, the fitness trainer told me to do. And so we just switched over immediately to the McDougal diet. I contacted my four grown children and, my, and of course told my wife, I said, I may die in 30 days, but I'm going off all medicine. I was on a lot of beta blockers and other medicines. And I just said, to go off all these, I know you get repercussions. And I said, there isn't any doctor around here that I know that knows how to take me off of it. And I talked to the cardiologist and he said, don't do it in a million years. And so I, who knows what's going to happen, but I want you to know up front that uh, I love you and I hope we see each other again. And that's the, way, that's the way I went about it. And I went immediately on the MacDougall plan without having been out here or anything. When I went uh, back to the cardiologist, uh, he called me in and they had done blood work. And he said, my cholesterol had gone with statins, with 80 milligrams of statins, had gone down to 111 at total. And so it had gone up to like 140 uh, on the next blood. And he said, what's going on? He said, if you're on the same statins and all, I said, I'm not. Let me, let me give you the news. Here's what I've done. And the thing that shocked me was that he said, good for you. He said, uh, if I had more people that would do what you're doing, they wouldn't have to do all this that we're giving. But we're kind of advised by the medical board that if someone has had open heart surgery, we need to prescribe these statins. But he said, I had read years ago Dr. Arnish's work 
Uh, and he says, I believe if you will live as strict on it as you're saying that you're doing, you will be fine. And he said, all oh, your numbers look very good. It's very solid. And he even said, if you want to, come back and see me in a year. And so I kind of left there a little bit betwixt and between. I'm glad he didn't ball me out, but at the same time, I kept thinking, why didn't he tell me that to begin with? I would have done it. So I haven't seen him since then. We live in an area that has always been heavily oriented toward barbecue. In fact, I heard one man say that it was a sport in Texas to barbecue. And my wife's from West Texas, and it's really that way there. We find in the small town areas that it's very difficult to travel in there and be able to eat a, an oil-free vegan diet. We find in the bigger areas like Dallas and Houston, it's very easy because even if you go to a steakhouse, they'll have sides and, you can, and they're usually very congenial uh, at, at doing what we need to do in order to, to, to eat the MacDougall plan. But uh, we're finding a lot of acceptance. In fact, we had a group over uh, and a general practitioner that, that had taken my blood test at one time, uh, he's now totally converted over to the MacDougall plan. And he came over and we had a big uh, living room group of people uh, that, that we went over with. And they're all Texans and they're all buying into this 100%. I think people are starting to see that something's got to be done, that there's major problems with obesity and health care and all of that. And so I think, the, I think a lot of people are very open-minded. So even in Texas, uh, we're getting a lot of open-mindedness. When I got involved with this, the primary reason was, of course, for the heart and to eliminate the drugs. But I found a lot of things that go back, being the age I'm at, <laughs> I have a lot of history. And I noticed that over the years I did a lot of exercise and I've always had some form of joint problem or some kind of pain in my lower back or something. I have absolutely nothing. I mean, there is, there's no joint anything. And I have people in the health club that'll say, I've got a knee problem, I've got this and that, and I'll tell them about this. And, uh, and some of them have adopted it and some of them haven't. Uh, my wife, uh, you know, she feels extremely good. She's noticed lately that you know, her weight is where she wants it to be. Uh, we just really don't have any difficulties. Uh, I've always had gum problems and fever blisters. And in the last four years since I started being involved with Dr. McDougall, I've had none of that. So little things that, that you just don't pay a lot of attention to and you don't kind of equate to being around that, I noticed over a long period of time that all the little nuances that I've had all my life, I've quit having. Uh, the hardest thing is not to go out and just start screaming this to people and say, wake up, <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's real obvious that it works. It's everything they say, 100% as far as I can see.